When you want an old-fashioned breakfast staple but let some southern heat join the party, you've got Nashville hot chicken fried steak. Spicy deliciousness gives this country favorite a kick in the pants, and of course, there has to be some homemade gravy to temper the heat. It's waiting here for you to dig in. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. For returning subscribers, welcome back. To a large bowl with a quarter cup of cornstarch, add three quarter cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of Burberry seasoning, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Give it a good stir until it's well combined. In a container large enough to fit your steaks, add one egg and a quarter cup of water. Then add one teaspoon to one tablespoon of chipotle hot sauce combined to make an egg wash. In a skillet over medium-high heat, melt one tablespoon of butter and add three tablespoons of olive oil. Now it's time to get to the cube steaks. Season with salt and pepper on both sides so that they're full of flavor on their own. Dredge the steak in the flour mixture first, making sure that it's fully coated and shake off any excess. Then dip it into the egg wash and then back into the flour mixture. Place the steak into the skillet and repeat the process with the other steak. Cook the steaks for about four minutes per side until golden brown. Make sure that you get the fat under the steak as it cooks the rest of the way. Mmm, country fried goodness. When they're ready, place them on an oiled cooking rack so that the grease can drain off. I place them in a 200 degree oven while I work on the gravy. Add two tablespoons of butter to the leftover bits in the skillet. Then add a quarter cup of flour and stir to make a roux. Make sure that you scrape all of those bits off the bottom because that's where the flavor is. Add one cup of chicken stock or bone broth and give it a stir. Then add half a cup of milk and stir it until it thickens. Season with fresh black pepper to taste. When it's almost totally thickened, add a half a teaspoon of smoked salt and taste it and adjust the salt if needed. Nashville hot chicken fried steak gives a good old southern kick to your breakfast or brunch plate. You can certainly do them without gravy if you prefer. I mean, they're pretty darn good on their own. But once you see it all dressed for the party, there's no turning back. This is the ultimate comfort food. One smell of this cooking and you'll be ready to dive in. For the full printable recipe, head over to mrskringleskitchen.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the love with your family and friends.